Ernie Watts, many uh, thanks for joining us here. And it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Courtesy of uh, Carl with saxophones and, and here with Dorks Music. Uh, you're touring Europe, I believe. You've been out and about for the last couple of months. Yeah, we've been here for two months. We started out in Germany and I did uh, concerts with my quartet in Germany with my friend Christoph Sanger that I'll be performing with this evening. And uh, then we had a few days off. We, meaning my wife Patricia and I, and we had a few days off and then Charlie Hayden came over and I did a three-week tour with Charlie Hayden and our Quartet West project. And then uh, we started on our uh, clinics and workshops here in the UK. I think our last concert with Charlie was at the uh, Queen Elizabeth Theater in London. Excellent. Do you find it difficult traveling all that time? Is it something you've grown accustomed to with your career? I've grown accustomed to it, but it is, so two months is a little long. Sure. Three weeks is good. Yes. <laughs> three weeks is that, the happy yeah, medium. Three weeks is great. Presumably somewhere warm is even better. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that does, you know, the, the main thing is that the music is good. You know, the main thing is that the music is happening wherever I am. But uh, at, it, two months is a little long to be away from home because we're doing things around our house and things like that, things that we want to oversee and, sure. and that kind of stuff. It's yeah. difficult to do that from the other yeah. side of the it world. Is. <laughs> yeah. You have to trust your builder. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You mentioned you've been playing with Christoph quite a lot in, in Europe and right. you have done for some years, if I, yeah, if I believe we've so. Done, we, we've done two tours a year. We do a tour in the spring and a tour, tour in the fall for seven or eight years now. And Christoph and I have been playing for, we were talking about this last night, we've been playing together for over 10 years. And how, how did you meet? Was that in a musical scenario? We or? met in another band of uh, uh, a friend put together like an all-star group. Uh, his na he's a young guitar player named Gino Samelli. And he put together a group in, in Germany for some concerts. And Christoph was chosen to play piano in that group. And that was the first time I met him was with that group. And we got on very well and we played very well together. So we decided to continue to uh, do some things together. <laughs> Christoph and I, and uh, we've done two quartet CDs together. We have a very nice uh, quartet in, uh, out of Germany with uh, Rudy Engel on bass and Heinrich Kerberling on drums. And in, in a lot of those CDs, there are some originals? Mostly originals. Some standards or, or known tunes. Mm -hmm. How do you feel there's a, a balance there between what you want to bring new that's musical and also the old older standards, if you will. Do you feel you have to go back to those sometimes on gigs, in, in, in albums, or...? Well, at this point in my life, for my projects, I only play what I want to play. So, the tunes that I play that are standards, or established tunes, are tunes that I just love. They're just great tunes and I love to play them. You know, like tunes like Round Midnight, that's just a great composition. You know, Lush Life, those tunes, they're fantastic tunes. Uh, so I really enjoy playing them. And uh, the other tunes are mostly, uh, we. I write, I write with friends, Christoph contributes tunes, you know. So my main interest is in introducing new material into our repertoire, into the jazz repertoire. That could then be played in the future by... By Somebody anybody else who likes them. Talking back. Sure. Yeah, yeah. By anybody that likes them. We did a little uh, workshop two or three days ago in Wells, at Wells Cathedral School. And I played a composition there that I wrote for Michael Brecker called For Michael. And we played that as a duo. And the kids really liked it. And a couple of kids came up to me and said, Wow, that's a great tune. We'd like to, pl we'd like to play that, you know. So I gave them the lead sheet. 
and they ran off somewhere and ran off copies and brought the brought the masters back to me and now they have that tune so I'm totally open you know with having other people play play my material because that's what it's all about it's all about sharing the music so somebody in Wells is practicing very somebody hard now. Somebody in Wells is practicing that tune right <laughs> On now. On an early watch. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's struggling away. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good. Yeah. Now you started your own record company as, as well, am I correct? Was yeah, that... Patricia and I started our record company about three years ago, and it's called Flying Dolphin Records. And was that with a view again to being at a stage musically and career-wise where you want to put those new things across? And did that give you more freedom to, to do so? Or? much much more freedom because we don't have to worry about how long tunes are or what tunes to play or how to play them or any of that you know it's just a total concentration on the way that we really want to do the music so that's been a, a very freeing a very opening experience better us. results presumably come from that freedom of being able to decide and express right. and, exactly. and that lets you go your own way. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. excellent. You know, because that's, that's, what we, that's what we're involved in, you know. It's like the freedom and the openness of, of continuing to create music. You know, the jazz genre has become almost an interpretive genre now, just like interpreting the music of Beethoven or interpreting the music of Bach. You know, people are interpreting the music of Louis Armstrong, interpreting the music of Duke Ellington and, and so forth, which is beautiful. But I think there should still be a place for original material and for things to continue to evolve in that way. So we're very, you know, my wife and I were very involved in introducing new music. Thank <laughs> you. 